All right, Knights of Apollo, welcome back to the battlefield. Once again, we are playing the greatest mod ever made. Napoleonic Total War 3, the super hyper epic realistic mod for Napoleon Total War. I mean, this mod has it all. It's got the scale i mean look at this it's got army uh, variety i mean you can play not only can you play as the french but you can play as the french in different uh time periods different coalitions same thing with other factions as well there's endless amounts of troops and it's just guys i'm gonna say you know what? i'll say this it's the greatest multiplayer mod that you can play on total war this is what I would want Total War to be. Now, some of you guys might disagree, but I want realism. I want immersion. I want to. I want it to feel like I'm leading an actual army into battle. I, you know, I want it to feel like this is a just a fight for my life. I'm leading troops. I'm. I feel bad when they die. You know, it's like ah, oh, that was my favorite unit gone, shattered. You know, I. That's what I want in a Total War game, and you know what, we'll probably never get that, but thanks to mods, we can get very, very close, I mean, honestly, this, this is probably better than anything, uh, CA would make, uh, you know, people ask me all the time, you know, what, what game are you excited for, the next historical, I don't care, okay, I don't care, because this exists, so anyways, let's jump in, and, uh, check out the factions today, and we've got a look at this map too just absolutely stunning and brave no it's it's a beautiful map so uh yeah on one side we have the french so it's a, a it's not all the same army we got like the french flanders here it's very cool very cool indeed it's just a typical kind of french army here and then next to them we have the like bavarian french so you are going to see some bavarians mixed in with this army so that's pretty awesome and then over on this side, we have uh, the French army in Spain. So again, this is what I'm saying. Like, there's so many. This is like, yeah, you want to play as a French? Which French? You know, what French? <laughs> Which one are you going to play as? Who knows? And then this is what I'm super excited about today's video. We have the Irish. Yes. Oh, my gosh. The, the mad lads. Dude, look at this guy. Just strutting. Look at it, the green. It's just like it's civilian clothes. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Any opportunity to kill some English, the Irish are here. They're like, hey, France, we're going to help you out. That's why I love the Irish. That's why I love the Irish. Also, I'm part Irish. I know. I mean, literally, if you're American, even if you're even if you're like black, you know, you probably have some Irish in you. Uh, but yeah, so the Irish are here. And they're not scared. So let's see what they're. Let's see what uh, forces they're taking on. And my goodness, this French army is really covering some ground here. So as you can see, we've got some Prussians on the battlefield. Love the Prussian uniforms. Look at that, the black. Look how sleek and sexy. Prussia has by far the greatest uniforms. Really, Germany has a long history of just. I know Prussia is not quite German. It, you get what I'm. German history. Um, they have just a long line of sexy uniforms. They really do. Um, so yeah, over here we've got uh, a force helping uh, the Prussians, and this is Sweden. So, beautiful electric blue and yellow. The Sweden on the battlefield. And then, um, there's so much more. We just gotta... It, it, that's the beauty of this mod. You kind of have to scout out the enemy. Uh, but you can see the generals wherever you are. Okay, here we go. So, we have the British over here. So, I'm not sure what British they are, but they're British nonetheless. There's the uh, Union Jack. And then we have a British-Russian force. Uh, on the battlefield you can see kind of the combination of flags there so those are the factions and we'll you know discover more units as this battle unravels but for now we will wait for the first engagement and just a little bird's eye view you can see that um this french army is really pushing pretty aggressively they're uncovering a lot of um uh troops from sweden and um some swedes and then another french army closing in in the center and the Irish are way in the back. Well, well, hold on. What are the Irish doing? The Irish are kind of headed towards the center. So they're not maintaining their deployment position. 
Like, they're not just going straight forward. They're actually moving a little bit towards the center. And this Spanish-French army um, is kind of moving over to to the right. So we'll see how we'll see what happens with that. I don't know if that's a big deal or not, but uh, just interesting to kind of point out. Well, we have our first shots fired, and it looks like first blood is going to be from Sweden, as they have some lights over here, kind of you know giving some warning shots, a little bit more than warning shots. They got a couple casualties here, but they do scare off the six dragoons, dropping more as they fall back, and the French are going to trot away from that engagement. Um, and try to keep their distance. So I like how Sweden is being a bit aggressive here, trying to maintain this uh, t this terrain. This is a pretty solid ground here, get a nice hill. But on the other side, it's the same thing. The French have a solid hill. So this might come down to artillery and cav play to see who, who gets aggressive and takes out the other's position. Over in the center, in the lush farm lands here, uh, the French, the Bavarian French, as I will call them, are pushing up along with... Uh, the Spanish French. Um, oh man, look at these. Look at these trousers. Fantastic. Uh, but yeah, they're kind of converging together. You can see they're kind of shifting together. And it looks like, um, Prussia might be standing alone here. They are scouting up with some cav, trying to look for any kind of weakness in the army, just kind of seeing what the enemy's doing. But it should be interesting to see how this plays out. Now, uh, the, the Russian British... Uh, have pushed up some line infantry that are in range as well. This is my favorite part of these battles, guys. I mean, the calm before the storm. You know, who's who's gonna make the first move? It's just two forces gathering. It's like a, it's like the Cold War phase, you know. And then out of nowhere, it will lead to mass uh, mass violence. Is what we're all here for, you know. Uh, but the uh, the Irish are still maneuvering towards the center, guys. Uh, so the Irish lads. Um, are, are pushing towards the center and they are going to uh, I guess bolster the center we'll see what they do here it's pretty interesting maneuver but for now again the forces no big commitment yet from either side whoa hold on we cancel that uh, yes indeed um, this the French and Sweden have gone into a bit of a cav engagement now the cav is getting shot at the victorious Swedish cav is getting shot at um, and it looks like they're gonna come out on top. Um, the French should recover from this. I don't- are they shattered? No, they're just broken. I think they're gonna come back, but they're not gonna be quite what they once were. Down to 39 men in the unit when they originally had seven. There it is. They've just rested. They've come back. Here comes another cab charge. Look at this. Oh my god. Is this Prussia? No, this is Sweden. Sorry, their uniforms were pretty dark. Um... But yeah, they take out some artillery that was not being protected uh, by the French army. And they leave this artillery to be um, to be taken. And now they're just going to... Well, no. They, okay, the French countercharge with this, some cab. They do break this cab, but it doesn't matter because they did what they wanted to do, which is take out that artillery. And now the Swedish cab is falling back to a uh, safer line, safer position. They might recover from that. I don't know. Uh, it's tough to tough to say, but that was a huge gain. I I, I really can't stress enough. Like these battles, it, it it's so important to take out enemy artillery because I'm pretty sure naturally in the mod you can only bring two artillery. Like it, it caps out at two. Uh, it doesn't matter who you are. So if you lose it, you know it's it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough to come back and uh, you know try to. Um, you know, I guess you'd have to do the same thing to the enemy, but France is pissed. They're like, you know what? No, we're pushing forward. I like it. And they are gunning down this, uh, this cav that is, uh, trotting away. So they should be pretty safe. It's a pretty far distance. A couple of them got hit there, but yeah, you might want to run them a little bit. That's the thing about this mod too, is like, you have to watch your fatigue levels. You really do. Like you can't just run cav around like a madman. You have to be very strategic about when to run and when not to run because fatigue is a huge uh, a huge um, feature of this mod. Uh, it's much, much uh, worse than uh, vanilla where you have to watch the um, fatigue, level, the fatigue levels or your troops fighting potential will severely um, worsen. And the reason for that is because positioning is key. 
You know, if you have to frantically send Cav somewhere else, that Cav is going to be so tired. You have to make sure you position your army properly. So now we're starting to see the battle lines here, guys. Let's get a nice, beautiful... Look at that. Look how far out we can go. So we got some French forming up here. You got a lake in the center. You got the Bavarian French, the Spanish French, and then the Irish French. Uh, Irish French. Uh, they're kind of bolstering up this, this uh, end here, but they're not going too wide. Now on the other side, we can kind of see some of the armies on the other side. Russia, British here, the Prussians holding the center, and then of course Sweden holding this far flank, which Sweden has done a great job so far in this battle. The question is, where are the British? Oh, this is going to be an epic. We got British versus the British in reserve and the Irish in reserve. <laughs> so we'll see how that plays out, <laughs> but um, it might be pretty epic. It might be pretty epic. All right. Uh, so back over here, um, Sweden is still moving up some troops. We're starting to see some infantry. Man, Sweden's got some sick uniforms as well. Look at this. Just looking sexy. Um, the French are kind of maintaining their position here. They're not advancing forward. They're just holding their ground uh, and getting ready to uh, push forward. Um, but it looks like, yes, Sweden has formed... An artillery position and is going to go ahead and start i think they're focusing the french artillery yes and the french artillery is pretty good too the position here got a nice hill and they're in a bit of a a, a, a well a bit of a competition here between the two artillery and we'll see who can take out who but um if sweden can take out this artillery battery this is gonna be huge because france over on this side will have no artillery Oh, here we go. France is going in, and the first major shots have been shot. Now, we got a general under, I guess, a spare, like a, a random cannonball probably hit near the general, so he's going to move him towards the little creek here. But this is, this is, this is the big, um, big infantry engagement. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. I like it nice and loud. Oh, beautiful. So they are at it right now. So this is, oh, and look, you've got some troops that are still in the fog of war, but yet they're firing. That seems a little crazy. I think you should should, should be able to see them, right? Maybe maybe scouts, like skirmishers, they could stay hidden, but if it's line, maybe it is skirmishers. I don't know. It, kinda, it could be. It kind of looks like it, so I don't know. But yeah, the lines are fighting right now over on this side. Let's kind of zoom around, make sure we're not missing anything. Here we go. The British have appeared. The British have appeared. Look at these glorious uniforms and flags. They are marching up this small hill, and it looks like they're going to be taking on the uh, British Bavarians. Oh, we got some Cav potentially thinking about making a move here. This is the British Russian forces. So they might be going in. This is one of the most slowest Cav charges I've ever seen in my life, uh, but he still might be able to pull this off. He's going for the artillery. There we go. See, I like that. I like that. Little trick to you guys. Here, a little tip. Oh, oh, they got stuck on some infantry. Oh, no. They got to push through. They, yeah, no, no. That's a huge bummer there. Huge bummer. And now we got a massive infantry line fighting each other, uh, each other on this side. This is the Russian British forces. And we got some cab kind of looking for an opportunity, but they do not go for it. So things are getting extra spicy over on this side as we zoom out. So the little tip I was talking about, guys, is in in Napole Oh! Artillery hit him there. Uh, <laughs> when you're using cav, don't click attack on the target you're going for until you're very close. And the reason you want to do that is because when you hit attack, the cavalrymen will start screaming. They'll be like, ah! And that warns the other player that a cav unit is coming. I don't know where, when, you know, it's it's nearby. And it, it puts them on high alert like the SpongeBob caveman. Like, huh, huh, what is that? Who's charging? Even the infantry does it too. So the best thing you want to do is run your cav, click next to it. And then once you're close enough to where they can't respond in time, then click attack and charge in. Uh, it's a good trick because it... Um, you know, keeps the um, element of surprise on your side. So here we go. Look at this. The Irish. This is what I've been waiting for. Look at this rabble here. Look at this rabble. 
they are moving up and are they gonna pop some shots here against this british russian force not quite yet in range let's go to the other side because sweden and france are just this is like heavyweight boxing match just exchanging hits one after another and it's which big man is going down first you know it's 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 just quite the brawl over on this side and it looks stunning and brave oh man that's cool Abs look at that look at that line more and more infantry going forward. Oh, we got some cav engagements, a small cav engagement. It looks like France is going to dominate this cav engagement, which is what they needed. I, I feel like so far Sweden has kind of manhandled France right now, but uh, this is their opportunity to get some damage done. They just wiped out some cav. They might have an opportunity to run down these lights. The lights do look a little concerned. I mean, I'd be terrified watching your own cav break from the fight, and now there's nothing protecting you. And sure enough, the French cav is going for the charge. Going for the charge, and they take out these lights. Oh, in a matter of seconds, which is no surprise there. So the cab is going to go ahead and disengage because there's some infantry that peeled over here. This is huge, guys. Where is the artillery? How is the artillery engagement going? Well, France is still holding strong on this battery position over... Where's, where's Sweden? Uh-oh. Looks like there was a little bit of a cav engagement here. I don't know if they lost their artillery. No, they're moving it. Oh, I oh, they're breaking. I think they lost. Guys, I think they lost. But more and more infantry is being pushed up. France seems to be recovering nicely in this fight. And Sweden kind of has their backs to the wall. We'll see how this plays out, though. Now, let's go back over to the all the way to the other side of the battlefield. Where we have a big cav engagement. Uh between the British Russians and the French. It looks like the British come out on top there. And now Prussia, wow, Prussia is flanking around as well, but it looks like some Lancer Cav. And they go into the tree line where more French Cav await them. And the French are just desperately trying to maintain their flank. They don't want it exposed. And now we've got some Prussian Cav going around looking for an opportunity. He doesn't see one, so he's going to fall back. Oh, no, he's going in. The mad lad is going in. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. That's a smart play. Don't don't throw your Cav away because these guys will come back. They will come back. You can use them again. Um, but, yeah, it's it definitely was a win for the British Russians, but um, a nice stand by the French to uh, kind of stop the bleeding. And here we go. We've got um, some Irish skirmishers. Uh, Wexford skirmishers. Yeah, I don't really know too much about uh, Irish geography. I just know that my ancestor ancestors are from Mayo. You know, <laughs> Mayo. You know, that's like that's like the most white thing ever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, they've got their rabble infantry over here as well. I love it. I love it. I can't wait to see these guys in action. They're just thinking about potatoes right now. Potatoes and maybe uh, what? I don't know. A shepherd's pie, some Guinness. Anyways, here comes another charge over here. Look at this. The French are getting hyper aggressive. So aggressive. Oh, this is not good for Sweden. Look at this. Prussia sent aid to Sweden, and it's still not enough. It's still not enough. And the Swedish army is finding themselves surrounded. What happened? Here comes some six dragoons going behind. Going for the infantry. The infantry are completely vulnerable. And while this infantry is busy fighting cab, they can move up. And that's sure enough exactly what they're doing. Now, this is a bit of a sacrificial cab charge from the French. They're going to keep the infantry really busy. And then the French infantry is going to creep up on them to get some nice close shots. So they just got to get in position. It takes them a little while. There we go. Oh. They get one little quick shot there. And they're going to get even closer, guys. They might want to just hold their ground here. The, uh, Sweden is kind of recovering. They, oh, some infantry do break from the line. And the French are just really capitalizing on this situation. And the two forces are uh, doing everything they can to win this engagement. But it does seem like France has a solid edge. 
over Sweden. All right, so back over on this side. Look at this, look at this, red alert. Prussia, Prussia moving in to support Sweden. That's how bad of a situation this has become. They're sending extra troops over here to stop, this try to stop the French. Uh, where's this artillery? Oh, the artillery's got, oh my gosh. Artillery's got a perfect position on the enemy where they could fire down the line, down the infantry line. This could be devastating. Sweden needs to fall back. They need to fall back and create some distance between them and this artillery. At the very least, you want the artillery to hit you head on instead of like, you know, from the side. This is like the equivalent of raking an enemy in, in a naval battle, but for land, you know? It's like, oh, Sweden's so lucky they've not taken a big hit from the artillery. Anyways, here comes some Prussian cab going for an infantry charge. And the French are going to counter charge here. This is a big moment in the battle here, guys. Big moment. The French do form square. They might lose a unit here. Cav is so important in this mod. It really, Cav is important in, all, in any total war. Except maybe Warhammer. I don't really know how Warhammer works. But, you know, magic. Fireballs. Alright, so... Um, I think they're gonna they're gonna break the Prussians there. Um, the French have taken some losses here. Yeah, the French are. I think the French are just getting a little too aggressive, so they're gonna fall back now. Over on this side, uh, things are still pretty calm over here. We haven't seen any huge commitments. Uh, it's kind of a bit of a Mexican standoff as the two forces kind of kind of square off at each other, but nothing. Nobody's commit. It looks like some French cab over here. Uh, we got some British cab in, in reserve. But here we go, here we go. Okay, now we're starting to see shots fired. The British <laughs> British killing some Irish right now, but I'm sure the Irish will fire back very soon. And uh, yeah. yeah, they're gonna form up here. Let's see what they got. Look at the officer just standing tall. Look at him. He's like, I will not kneel to these. Oh, okay, yes I will. I will kneel, just kidding. <laughs> he was waiting for that volley and then he kneeled. <laughs> I wonder if that's a good tactic. I mean, like, just lay down <laughs> once the volley hits. Um, probably not, because these shots are so, like, inaccurate that they could just wind up anywhere. I mean, I guess it would help a little bit. But, yeah, lots of skirmishers kind of peppering down at the uh, the British, but the British are firing back with a lot of force. Uh, back over this way in the center, it's been really quiet in the center and I think I know why. I think it's because everyone's kind of converging their forces over against Sweden. Look at this. Sweden is recovering thanks to the aid of Prussia. Thanks to their help. Oh, we've got some grenadier. Got some epic grenadiers from the French who are holding off multiple units. Multiple units. And Sweden's kind of, it's like, it's kind of like the end of a round. I know I keep doing, like, boxing uh, analogies here, but it's like the end of the round. The bell is rung, and uh, they're kind of sitting in their corner at this point, just kind of, like, dang it. I had him at one point, but he, he got me with the right hook, and it hurt like hell, you know. Uh, so Sweden is uh, popping some shots at the calf. Uh, but Sweden's going to go in for the kill. Um... Prussia is still, is he still sending in? Yeah, Prussia's still moving forward reinforcements over to that side. And it looks like, yeah, Bavaria is coming in to follow up. They're, they're going to help their allies. So because of all the shifting and reinforcements from both sides, kind of let the center empty. There's been no fighting in the, in the center. Um, so because they're so focused on the wings of the battle. I mean, the battle's being fought on the wings. So... Again, we'll see how this kind of progresses here, but the Irish, the Irish are making the British fall back. They are falling back. Something they saw, something they see, I don't know, they, they don't like it. They don't like it, so they're falling back, reforming. And the Irish are going to pursue. They are going to pursue. Back over in this way, we've got some artillery. From the British and the British Russian forces. Looks like we got some Russian artillery. You can tell by the green uniforms, I think. Um, but yeah, they, they are kind of opening fire at it. Looks like, look at this position here. Really solid position from the French. 
Um, just kind of using this hill. Got some stakes in the front. What a terrible shot. Terrible shot there, artillery. What artillery. And, um, yeah. So now, now the French Bavarians are moving in. Here's some Bavarian troops. You guys look awesome. I love their hats, their helmets. But a lot of British forces are maintaining this point here. Now remember, guys, let's let's go back over here because this is where this is a very critical moment of this battle. So back and forth. But remember, guys, this is LOC, and there's different points, and it's not about completely wiping out your enemy which you certainly can but it's also about holding the most points at the end of the timer which uh, there's 43 minutes left in this battle now will it lead to 43 minutes I don't know it's possible but the French are being pushed back there that's that's pretty crazy I uh, props to Sweden I mean I honestly felt like they were gonna get wrecked um, but they turned it around with the help of their their ally but you know the french are just delaying you know why because they've got some reinforcements on their way we've got one two three four lines of infantry about to show up behind uh sweden so sweden you know what they should do ah oh, perfect i was just gonna say this they should turn around and overwhelmed overwhelm the French over there and try to defeat in detail because if they pursue this French army then they're just gonna get rolled up by this French force uh, from behind so I think I like the fact that they're kind of holding their ground here not pursuing not getting tunnel vision over on this side I also like this push by the French as well I don't think they're gonna win this engagement but it does appear that the French are just kind of keeping these guys landlocked you know keeping them stuck in this position and preventing any more reinforcements from going over to Sweden. I, maybe that's the case. I'm not really sure. Now back over here. Here we go. The lines have been formed. The Irish are in position. I'm just excited to see them in action. Um, it looks like they got a good volley off. And they are... Oh. Ah. <sighs> it's perfect. It's perfect. So yeah, they're flanking over here as well. Look at the Irish are going in with clubs. Clubs and potatoes. Charging in. Charging in with a small skirmish force. What the heck? And it's working, guys. Never underestimate the anger of the Irish. Here comes another charge. Infantry v. Infantry. They probably ran out of bullets. Ran out of bullets. And here comes a cav charge. Oh, man. The Irish are getting super aggressive. And now we've got some cav from the British side trying to reinforce. We've got another cav unit moving in here. And both sides break each other, so that's a fair trade. And the Irish are just like... Like a train building up momentum. So yeah, they're they're closing in. They're closing in. This is this is a really good uh, position for the French. They've got these guys right where they want them. They are kind of double teaming one player, which is perfect because over here they're this double this two force here getting held back by one player. I mean that's that's really good. And here we go. Oh, wow. There's a lot of Prussian troops here. No wonder. No wonder this side's getting double teamed. Yeah, and he's doing the right thing. He's not fighting. He's going to fall back. But the Irish are in hot pursuit. Like, this is for taking our potatoes. British scum. But, yeah, that's, that's beautiful right there. They are not letting up, not letting up. That could be, that could be huge here. Now over on this side, it does appear that this is gonna be a coalition victory. I don't think the French are gonna be able to win this. Even with this reinforcement force, I, did, I thought the Prussians only sent a couple units over here, but once the fog of war cleared, they've got more units than the Bavarian French. So, 
this is uh, this is a battle of two two sides, two flanks. The French over here should just disengage. I mean, sometimes, guys, sometimes just delaying the enemy is the best thing you can do, especially when your team is winning all the way on this side of the battlefield. Where the Irish are just like, ah, ah, just charge it in like, just like mad lads. Oh my gosh. Irish are insane. Look at ah, ah, Yes. Oh my gosh. And we've got a total retreat here. Total retreat. Now, it looks like the Bavarians are calling it here. They're falling back, which is probably a smart move. Because they're outnumbered. And there's no, re there's no reason to force an engagement here when you can wait for reinforcements to arrive. And it does appear the British Russians are falling back to their allies to regroup with them. They've got a couple units here and there that they're kind of sacrificing. They are getting some good shots. They're kind of doing a little bit of a kiting maneuver. But they are they are getting some good shots. Uh, and they're, they're trying to save as many lives as possible. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, the British moving in. They are going to pursue the French Bavarians. Over on this side. Again, it looks like the coalition is going to win here. Very good on the French to delay this engagement. Don't give up a victory. Because what the reason they want to keep Sweden busy here is because even they know... They, the French know this is going to be a defeat. There's nothing they can do to win this. But if they delay, that causes Sweden to spend more time pursuing them instead of, you know reinforcing over on the other side. And here comes a cab charge from Prussia. This might be the deal breaker here. This is the risk of sending a small force to battle without proper support. This is the absolute risk. He had no cab, no artillery, no lights. to kind of work together against a sudden, sudden, uh, sudden, a sudden cab charge. Words are hard. And just like that, this cat force is utter. This is a huge, huge win for the coalition. A huge victory for them. Now we've got more cab pursuing in because, yeah, clean them up. Prussia has a lot of cav here. That's a huge win right there. Coalition can now send over reinforcements to help out because, yeah, this is a problem. This is a major problem right here. The Irish closing in. They've... Oh, I didn't know the Irish had silencers. Wow. They probably just put a big potato at the end of their gun. And it silenced their shots. <laughs> Spartan band. So um, they've made it, and it looks like they're gonna they're gonna they're, they're gonna make a <laughs> words are hard today. They're gonna make a little bit of a hill defense. They've got the creek around them. Uh, they are falling back, and look at this. Look at all the French forces closing in. Now, when you see it from this perspective, the coalition looks like it's in big danger, big trouble. And Sweden and Prussia over here need to hurry up. Honestly, honestly, guys good move here instead of pursuing these guys just keep a rear guard and it looks like he's just gonna send three units maybe no maybe he, he won't send anything i would i would leave like four units here to just keep these guys locked in i it's risky because you could lose those four units because the french could beat four units from this army but yeah i would just keep a rear guard um to watch those French there. And they are sending over reinforcements. And this is huge. This is like Prussia showing up at Waterloo. They need to get over there and try to get behind some of these French forces. To cause some pressure on other parts of the battlefield. Because right now the French are focusing all their fire. All their might. 
into one position here and the coalition is in danger this is a big risk moment for the coalition and look at the french are not letting up the irish are not letting up they can smell the blood they can smell the fear the english fear nice shots there in the back i don't think they got any hits there but it's still scary sending a message and they're going in and the reason they're getting so aggressive is because they want to defeat this force before reinforcements are arrive i assume so but i just don't think they're going to do it in time oh my gosh look how close they're getting but here's the problem they kind of have to oh this poor horse he's like bro i was just chilling here you didn't have to shoot the horse um but yeah he needs to kind of climb this hill because he's just shooting into the dirt and killing horses. Like, he's not really doing anything. So he's got to get up there, and he knows it. He's moving up. They are just all... They're just... What is ha It's just panic mode right now. Just firing into a big blob. There we go. Yeah, hold, hold the ground here. You got to make your stand. Because reinforcements are on the way. You just got to wait. And the Bavarian French are going to be in big doo-doo here. They're going to be in big trouble because this is not a big force this is this could be a moment for the coalition to turn this around if they go if they could obliterate this force right here they could kind of sweep around and get these other forces and it's going to cause an issue but look at this look how aggressive the french are being and once again we have another charge the french have some cav behind enemy lines we got some dragoons going in wow. what a fight these battles are so cinematic and the Irish once again getting their bayonets bloodied oh my gosh massive charge now correct me if I'm wrong but isn't this kind of against the rules in this game? Like, you can't mass charge with, like, half your army. Because it kind of messes with the, um, morale. Of, like, the morale mechanics. Like, it just kind of breaks the morale mechanics. I don't know. I'm no expert. That's just what I've heard. Unless maybe it's changed. And we've got another cav engagement here. It looks like Prussian cav and French cav fighting it out. Fighting it out. And come on, you got to get these guys in the battle. No time to stop. Now, it does look like the French tried to delay these forces. They got some um, Bavarian Hussars, I believe. Uh, but yeah, they're, but the Prussians were able to prevent anything with that. They won, and they stand victorious. And just look at the chaos. This is just utter chaos. I mean, imagine being in this fight. The tree. Oh, and there's a ton of French breaking. This might be good for the coalition. It's still too early to tell. The Irish are kind of forming up. Lots of breaking going on here from both sides. They're fighting in the building. It's just... Imagine, I mean, imagine being a soldier in this area. You got trees and chaos and smoke and people running around everywhere and here comes more irish look at that a ton of irish pulling around the flank but at the same time the prussians are pushing on the flank as well here comes the prussians and sweden let's see what the french are doing over here so they are fighting look at this so the french this is a smart move from the french just you know just get your army out there. Uh, you're going to lose, but keep Sweden locked in from reinforcing that other side of the battle where your allies are overwhelming them. Oh, can this horse make it? Any bets? Any bets? $10? Looking good. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, get past the line. Oh, and it makes it. Where is he going to go, though? I don't know. Live free. Join a, a pack of wild horses. Your war days are over. 
It's like War Horse, but Napoleonic. Anyways, uh, good for that horse. It's nice to see a horse make it after seeing so many slaughtered. But there we go. The French are pretty much wiped out here. Sweden can now send over reinforcements, which they must do. And they are making a bit of a new battle line here. Lots of breaking from the French. Lots of breaking from the French here. That charge almost kind of backfired for them. You can see the French Bavarians falling back as well. So it's it turned... It's turned into new battle lines. Now the Irish... Irish have a lot of numbers here. The question is, are they skilled enough to beat this force? They've got the numbers. Do they have the skill? We'll see. The British are uh, are advancing forward. They they want to fight these Irish. Man, what a wild fight! What an absolute wild fight! I don't know what happened with the French. I think they just got too aggressive. Look at the mass breaking here. And they and look at this. The Russian British still hold on after so much carnage and so much death. Still hold on to this uh this farmhouse. Very big farmhouse. So I'm looking at this and honestly, it's not looking good for the French. Like it's going to come down to the Irish to win this one. And I don't know if they're going to be able to. The French need to consolidate their forces. But even if they do, they're still... And look at the British are falling back. Because of the overwhelming amount of Irish that are pushing on this flank. And they're really causing the British to stretch their lines. But I think if the French want to win this battle... They have to defeat this force before Sweden shows up. And Sweden's just having a field day shooting at breaking units. <laughs> Stop it. Go reinforce your buddies over on the other side. Yeah. Look at The Irish are pushing in. Some French have recovered over here. They're reforming. I think they're going to support the line infantry over here. Ah, oh, but Bavaria, the Bavarian French are not lasting long here. Not lasting long against the Prussians. They're like, you traitors. You traitors. Alright, here we go. So, the British have stopped. Man, look at these thick lines. That's thick with the double C. These are some thick lines. The British stand their ground, and the Irish are starting to break here. I just don't think they can take on these professional troops. A lot of Irish are falling. They need to get reinforcements up there. They have the reinforcements. They need to move. What a struggle. What a struggle. Are they going in for another charge? Yes, they are. Look at these pinstripe pants. I, the charge might bring some relief to the Irish, but I'm just looking at this fight. I'm, I just don't see it happening. They've got some artillery over here they're maneuvering, so that might help. You can get some canister shot. I just feel like the Irish are getting too aggressive. I don't I don't know. And they are fighting. Look at this. They are fighting in the tr in this house. It looks like it's in favor of the French. So this could be a small victory for them. A very small victory. There we go. They've taken the building. They've taken the building. And now they can kind of use it. But guys, it, it, sure, it was a small victory. A s very small victory. And they now kind of, it, it's just, this battle's so wonky. You know, they're just trading places now. Now the French forces hold the building in this hill position. 
And now the British and, you know, coalition have been pushed back here. I don't know. Maybe there is a chance the French can win this. It's just so tough to tell in these battles. Just the way, you know, it's just so realistic. The morale system is so realistic. The Bavarians are breaking. They have to run uphill, so they're going insanely slow. Getting shot in the back. Sweden has made it with his reinforcements to the front line. They are joining the fray. We've got a nice hill position of light Irish troops. Some skirmishers. Yeah, just hold this position. This is really good. And the Irish have kind of taken this hill over here. They've pushed back the British. Wow, I did not expect that. I just, I, I didn't. The French over here. Sticking with the building. And this is it, guys. I mean, look at the look at the minimap. All forces have joined on this side. Now, looking at the minimap, it looks like the French have way more. <laughs> this is going to be so close. And I love what the Irish are doing here. Getting some great shots. Got a great position. Firing at breaking troops. And just look at the... Look at this. All these French troops here breaking, but yet the French are still in it to win it. So we're at a little bit of a standstill here. I'm not going to edit this out. I'm going to fast forward because right now all, all that we're witnessing is the skirmishers of Ireland kind of popping some shots at some breaking troops. They're like, hey, I know you want to kill some British folk, but maybe you should save some of your ammo for actual threatening enemies. Now, the Prussians are pursuing the breaking troops. I guess they're worried that they're going to return, which is a legitimate concern. I've seen it before. Breaking units return, come back, and win a battle. Um, so I understand. But I think really what they're doing is kind of making a flanking maneuver. The French now are pushing forward. And I like this. The coalition's waiting because they're waiting for more troops, more reinforcements. And I think that's why the French are kind of moving forward now. They want to get this engagement going. And look at, they're going to try to overwhelm these Prussians. Oh, this is huge. Right, let's do some normal speed. This is huge because what they're going to try to do is break this Prussian force and then fold around this way and support the Irish forces. Which, that's basically all that's over here. The Irish French. But this is, the longer they wait, the better for the Irish. The longer they don't engage is good for the Irish because this gives more time for this French force to defeat the Prussians here. And the Prussians are now running uphill. I think they're going to try to make a stand on top of this massive hill. These troops are exhausted too. They're winded. They're like, I've been fighting all day. Please don't go up the hill. My calves are killing me. But yeah, Prussia... Russia worked on their cardio quite a bit. They're going up the hill. The British have now opened fire on the Irish troops and vice versa. Oof, beautiful. Well, look at these guys. I love the white hats. Oof, that's loud. And they're, oh, there you go. Very smart. Fall back. Don't engage. Wait. Oh, and there's, oh, look at this flanking maneuver. Ireland's really, the French Irish, really trying to flank around and uh, put some pressure on these troops here. But I like this. They're delaying, it's, but the British are falling back as well. Interesting. So they're going to send over troops that try to help. And the, ooh, the Prussians have a little flanking force here as well. Ooh, and it looks like the Prussians are, are winning and causing the French to fall back. Oh, they got them right where they want them. Excellent, excellent job. What felt like was going to be a French victory over, at least in this specific part of the battle, is just kind of folding on on themselves on themselves is that you get what i'm saying it's it's turned it's turned its head it's turned its ugly head i don't know what i'm saying basically it looks like the prussians have a chance of defeating this french force if the french do not win in this engagement the battle is over 
battle is over. I don't think the Irish can win this. The Irish are falling back here with these lights. Just trying to kite the enemy as much as possible. They have to do it. They sent over a unit of line infantry as well. Try to join and help out over here. I, you know, I just, I don't understand why the British aren't going in. I really believe the British have the advantage here. I guess he's just letting his troops rest. I don't really know, but I really do believe that they can win this engagement against these Irish troops. I really do. Now the French are falling back. They stopped the pursuit. And there is um, 17 minutes left of this battle. So the Prussians are going to open fire on this retreating force and they are going to pursue them. The British have sent over extra reserves as well to deal with this. So we'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit here, guys, because uh, we just have two sides not really wanting to engage, except for right here. Well, one side wants to re uh, to engage. And okay, let's do normal speed because it looks like the Irish are making a move here. A move that I don't think is going to end well for him. I like the aggressive play, but Sweden has a lot of troops here. And they are going to use... Oh, they picked up some of the Irish silencers. They're going to use them. Against these Irish here. So, I don't know. Uh, they both... Well, Sweden decides to fall back. These troops are kind of falling back as well. Okay, this is it. The Irish are going in for the kill, and Sweden is standing their ground. Sweden has a lot of heavy infantry, a lot of line infantry. Meanwhile, the Irish are pretty light on troops. They've got skirmishers, they've got one line, and then now the British are joining in as well. Yes, sir. They want to kill some Irish. And the Irish are moving up. They're going for the kill. They're going to try to surround and pick apart these forces here. Now, meanwhile, over on this side, the Prussians the Prussians have closed in on the French. The French have fallen back to this little hill. They got the trees kind of helping them, the building. So this might give them the edge here. Maybe, but it's, it's going to be a tough fight. It's a close battle, but it's going to... Oh, look, we got some Swiss Grenadiers gonna be a tough battle for both sides really so we'll see who wins this engagement back over on this side oh my gosh are they gonna pull this are the Irish gonna pull this off look at him he's like I'm not done yet he's getting back up oh my gosh dude they're going in I can't believe it these Irish are mad lads. They are closing in, guys. Closing in. Can they do this? Oh, they like melt the morale of enemy forces. I think because of the size of the units. The sheer size of them. Absolute units. <laughs> yes. They just like... Running after these troops. Oh my gosh. You might want to just stand your ground and hopefully get a couple shots off before they, they charge you. The Irish might be able to pull off a victory here. Back over on this side, the French are breaking. So this might come down to the Irish French versus the, um, the Prussians. Because it does appear that the French here are breaking from the fight. And... Yeah, the Irish are constantly pouring in. Constantly pouring in. And they are breaking them, guys. Holy moly. The Irish rage. The fighting Irish. 
I did not expect that. I, I don't know. I, I guess the Irish are kind of relying on their numbers. Like, not so much, like, if they got into a shooting match, they probably would have lost, so they just went in with melee. Because I guess just the sheer number of these units, like the size of these units. There's another charge. Wow. Unbelievable. Here comes another charge over here. Look at that. He's just trying to clean up what they can. And it is working. Oh, poor Irish lad. Didn't make it. So, Ireland cleans up this mess. They need to hurry up and just join the fight over here. Because France is holding on by a thread. As Prussia kind of makes a little bit of a U-shape around these forces. I don't know how much longer they can hold. Honestly, just fall back to the building. Get a unit inside the building. And now Ireland is going to rush back over to the other side. What the heck? What a strange battle. I love it. Now, Prussia needs to hurry up and break this force. And what they need to do is get some troops in the building and hold against the Irish. Um, use the high ground, you know, just do everything they can. They've got some troops pushing on the flank. Are they landing any hits though? I don't know. The terrain is pretty tough for them from there. They might want to do what the Irish did. Just charge in and break these guys really quick. Because the French are in a good position here. The trees are giving them cover. You know. The terrain is helping them out. The Prussians are pursuing in. This is going to be insanely close guys. Who is going to win this fight? So we'll go ahead and... Um, well, I was gonna I was gonna edit this out, but because I'm fairly certain Prussia's gonna win this engagement. Well, now they're falling back. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, let me fast forward and see how this plays out a little bit. Um, so the French. Okay, there we go. The French are breaking. The Irish are making their way, but they're running out of time. The Prussians need to gain control of this area to kind of hold against the Irish. The Irish have to be very tired here, guys. So you could break them. There's a lot of them. And now the French are going in for a charge. I don't think this is going to lead to anything fruitful. I think they're just going to break here. Um, they might be able to close in. Yeah, they just break. So the French are done. I don't know why he did that. He probably should have just, like held his ground there and just delayed as long as possible uh, but the Irish are now here and they're making a race for the building and we've got six minutes left in this battle this is definitely going to be a longer battle for sure we are down to five minutes kind of using the building as cover concealment maybe even possibly and he's gonna push around with a huge force of angry Irish Got some this Spanish troops from Madrid But yeah, Prussia is is in big, big danger. And really, I mean, there's not much to see here, guys, as we wait. I won't edit this out, but I'll just show you the troop movement. Prussia has not taken this high ground. Uh, the Irish are basically lining up at this point, and they're going to come crashing down from two different sides. You can see that Prussia is kind of forming a, uh, a position, kind of watching both sides. The French charge in... This, this is the Spanish French. It looks like they're just taking the brunt of the, the volleys. And now, once again, we've got the classic strat of Ireland charging into melee. Charging into melee. Uh, they are, some of them are, wow, that's a considerable amount of them are breaking. Now, over on this side, I'm sure they're going to do the same thing. Um, this is stupid close. Wow, they held against the Irish. Well, it's not over yet. They've got a couple units they have to take care of. One here, one there. 
And then, of course, this massive mob over here. Who's going to take it? They're just using these guys as, like, melee. There they go. They're charging in. Charging in. We're down to a minute 35. I think the Irish are going to win here. Maybe not. No, they're going to win. But uh, I think the Irish are going to win overall. They... Oof. British are like, dang, these Irish, they're like zombies. Oh, they break the Prussians there. And yeah, there's plenty of Irish troops at this point. They're going to go for the final kill, which is the British here. The British are kind of falling back to reform, create some space. This is like a last ditch effort. It's not going to happen. And this is going to be a French victory. Wow. A battle that was just extremely back and forth. A long battle, too, as we're over an hour. I might edit this some of it down, but it should be still over an hour. Um, just a crazy fight. There we go. And unfortunately, we can't see um, the results. It's still glitched out. But the person who sent this in, which is G, not Guy, which I used to call him. Um, because his name looked very similar to Guy, the, like, Indian butter. Anyways, uh, G sent this in he i don't think he was the irish i don't i don't think he was on the french side i think he lost to the irish here uh, but here's the results i can't see because you know i have to i had to edit them in but thank you guys so much for watching thank you to all the players involved this was a fun battle uh, a very back and forth battle uh, you know at one point i thought the french were gonna win then lose then win then lose and then well win so that was a great fight um it technically is a draw but because they ran out of time, but I think we well know that the Irish were going to win here against these British forces. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time on the battlefield.